kind of old, True. my life's kind of boring, also true. but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. So hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Oh my god, I can't believe we're already here again for another year of Vlogmas. I think this is like my 10th year of Vlogmas, I want to say. I've done it a little bit differently over the years. If you're new here or haven't been here for Vlogmas before, I've basically vlogged like every single year since I think 2016. Up until I believe 2020 was the first year I decided to, instead of every day until Christmas, which was just like a lot for me running two channels at once, I decided to do like a little 12 days of Vlogmas thing. So I'm going to be posting a new vlog every other day until Christmas. I'm really excited about it and it's going to be chaotic and fun and I'm gonna try to make it as fun and festive as possible so here we are number one I can't believe it I'm literally so excited so today we are going to just get into like the festive mood we're gonna get a Christmas tree we're going to decorate our apartment Drew has to work today so he is gonna hang back here but I'm gonna head to Target and then possibly Trader Joe's and then I think on his lunch break we're gonna go get a Christmas tree so it's gonna be really fun I'm kind of like running low on time here so I need to get going I just got dressed and got ready I'm wearing a bunch of of like newly stuff. I have been really into renting clothes lately because it's like a way for me to try on new stuff and wear new stuff and like not end up with a pile of clothes in my closet. You know what I mean? So not sponsored by the way, but I really actually enjoy being able to rent stuff. So if they want to work with me, you know, let me know. But here is today's outfit of the day. So we have this cute little sweater. This is a cardigan from Lisa Says Ga and I just think it's so cute. I love brown and red together. It's like one of my favorite color combos. It also kind of feels holiday-ish, at least to me. So it has these little like rows details on the collar I think it's so cute I was kind of like going back and forth about how I was gonna style this I was like maybe I'll wear some jeans like some dark wash jeans maybe I'll wear black jeans etc but then I had the idea to wear it with these cowboy boots that I just thrifted on thread up which like is such a score for me I don't even know the brand honestly but they're so comfortable they are like very broken in and like a little tattered but I don't really mind that and then I'm just wearing my favorite white flowy maxi skirt I wish I could wear this new one that I thrifted at the Rose Bowl but I'm pretty sure it's in the water or it's like in a pile of clothes that I need to put away so we're not gonna do that but yeah this just like forces me to get dressed if you've been watching my vlogs I've been like trying to get dressed a lot more lately I've just been trying to like you know put some care into myself so anyways we have our advent calendars we're gonna do those in a little bit we're just gonna do all the festive little things I also have this thrifted red bag that I'm gonna wear today so we just have <laughs> I don't know, it's like my version of festive. And we're gonna kick off these freaking Christmassy vibes. So let's head in the car. First stop I think is gonna be Target. Then maybe Trader Joe's, possibly might wait on that one, I'm not sure. And then we're gonna come home and assess what kind of like decor situation we're working with and decorate, so let's do it. Target, I made a list of things that I want to get because I just want to make sure that I'm not like overdoing it. I feel like in years past, I have been really guilty of like buying a bunch of decor, not using it that much or using it one time, then donating all of it, then buying all new stuff. Like we're really trying to reuse a lot of stuff this year besides getting like a new Christmas tree and like a couple little trinkets, candles, things that like run out, you know? So on my list so far is any kind of like small Christmas trinkets, little like things that would go on a shelf or fun little decorations, candles for sure. I feel like Trader Joe's and Target has like my favorite candles. I'm gonna add some twine because I wanna make like a DIY orange garland. I've seen that all over TikTok and it looks so cute and so fun. So I wanna see if they have any of that. I need a brow pencil. So we're gonna look into that. And then I think that's pretty much it. So obviously we're gonna to like go in there and see what fun stuff there is so nothing too too crazy but we're just gonna go in there and see what they have I could totally black out and walk out with stuff but I'm just gonna try to like be more you know more mindful about it so let's see what we end up finding <laughs> holiday stuff it kind of seems like it's everywhere so i'm not really sure but i did find this cute little garland this is my christmas i don't know we have like little random end caps and stuff 
but I'm gonna try to make my way to the actual holiday section and see if they have anything left. But usually I would say by like Black Friday, in my experience in the past at Target, most of the stuff has been gone. As we saw when we tried to shop for fall stuff, so we'll see. I also just got this thing of postal wrapping paper because Drew and I wanna do just like brown wrapping paper this year and then like decorate it with yarn. So this one seems like a lot cheaper and there's like a lot of it, honestly. There's like so much of it. So this would be really cute. And then we might do like Polaroids. We'll do a whole gift wrapping vlog, but yeah, this is gonna be cute. I'm excited. Also that person I think just saw me vlogging and then like went into the other aisle and it was so awkward. This is the brow pencil I use, by the way. I've been using this since, mm, I want to say like 2016. I'm not sure, but um, I use the color taupe. One thing down on the list. I will always and forever, oops. I will always and forever be a strawberry chapstick girly. They do have really cute stuff on this end cap here, like these little gift boxes that have poinsettias on them, sprinkles, cookie cutters, these cute towels. These are adorable, I want them. So much cute stuff. These little cookie stamps, I've never seen this before. It's like a little stamp, I think you put it on a cookie. It's really, really cute. I don't think we currently need any of this stuff, but good to know that it's here in case we do, because this is more stuff already than I thought there was gonna be. is what I was looking for. There are so many cute little names. Glitter tree, tinsel and thyme, cashmere cuddles, like that's adorable. So let's smell these. Let's smell glitter tree. Ooh, that's really good. I think it's just like a Christmas tree smell. Cashmere cuddles, I wanna say, now that I'm looking at it, they might've just like repurposed the same scents, but just given them a different name. Mm. That smells so good. This one is called Kito. quiet in here. It's called Mistletoe Margarita. Mm. Mm. It's okay. Tinsel and thyme. No. Okay, when I was back in Arizona for Thanksgiving, we went to Target on Black Friday. We didn't buy anything, but I did see this red teddy bear jacket and it caught my eye and I've been thinking about it ever since. So I'm gonna get it. It's really cute. They also have a lot of really cute women's Christmas sweaters. It's like all different fun colors and stuff. They have like pink ones. This is freaking adorable. I really want this. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, maybe I blacked out a little bit. Yikes, it happens. All right, we're home. Drew is seated over here. He has a front row seat to the show. He's excited. He was like, can I sit and watch? I won't say anything. I was like, you can say something. I'm just being quiet. <laughs> it's fine. Target haul, oops. I mean, listen, I did say that I didn't want to buy a bunch of decor that I'm like not gonna use and you know, I'm gonna get rid of. And I didn't really buy a bunch of decor. I really, like I bought these for decor and that's it. So I feel okay about that. But yeah, I got two plaid pillows because I just can't, I have a problem with pillows. I don't know, whatever. We do have pillow storage in our living room now. So I feel like it's acceptable. So those will go on the couch and we already have two from like previous years that we're gonna use. So that'll be cute. Got some bows cause I think we're almost out of these. He said, I got some sort of like yarnish twine, but it's like a forest green twine. So I wasn't sure if you had any twine for like garlands, but if not, we have some extra. I did get us matching pajamas. Well, not matching, but like I got us both Christmas pajamas. What do you think about these? So cute. Oh, I got a tablecloth, yeah, yeah. For, for over here. Like we had some friends over. Did a nice little, we have like a, a white one for when we have, usually we cover the island with it. When we have like friends over, friends giving, whatever, but now we have like a holiday one. So that'll be good. We'll keep that forever. I did get another candle. The one I decided to get was one that we've already had before, holiday spruce. But I think this one's almost out and it's just like 
It's the most like Christmas tree smell wow. ever. That's a good one. So good. Um, I got some chapsticks and my, hello, my brow pencil, which I showed. Let's see what else. Oh, these need to go in the fridge. I got some sugar cookies and like elf cookies because I saw this thing on TikTok that I want to try. Got some fresh cranberries for all sorts of things throughout the season. Cocktails, mocktails. I definitely want to do a video. Oh. She's breaking open. I definitely want to do a video where we test out like different TikTok viral sort of like baking things and like cocktails, mocktails, etc. Because they all just look really good and festive and cute. And then, oh yeah, got a gingerbread house, although the bag or the box just broke. So we'll build this at some point during Vlogmas. So that'll be fun. I showed this. Remember this was the one I was- You got the poopy jacket? <laughs> yeah, the poopy jacket. I was thinking about this in Arizona and it's been like a week now and I'm still thinking about it, so. I got it. It's gonna be comfy. Here's the pajamas I got for myself. Here, I like yours better. Well, they didn't have that for men, so. I did get a sweater. I have no explanation for this. It's just really cute. Like, it's very millennial mm -hmm. and I love it. I love being a millennial! And that, unfortunately, <laughs> is my Target haul. It actually isn't that bad. It looks like more stuff because these things take up a lot of bags, but I'm happy with everything. We're gonna hang out for a little bit, and I decided to come home because I had some cold stuff that I needed to put in the fridge, and I didn't want to run to Trader Joe's and like have all that stuff get warm, so. We might save Trader Joe's for another day, potentially. The main priority is getting that freaking Christmas tree, and I can't wait, I'm so excited. Okay, sorry if you can hear the laundry going in the background. We got our Christmas sweaters and all that new like pajamas and all that kind of stuff. That is getting washed in the wash right now. This doesn't say which one is which, but I actually have only ordered this place like maybe one other time since Vlogmas last year when I tried it for the first time. But it's really good and it just sounded amazing. So I'm craving it. So Drew and I ordered Joe and the Juice and it is so Damn delicious. Oh, perfect. This is mine. I got the tuna cotto, which I'm not even that much of a tuna person. I mean, I don't dislike it, but this is what it looks like. They have this like really delicious kind of crispy bread. It's like, um, I think it's Danish, I'm pretty sure. And then it has avocado, pesto, the tuna mixture, and tomato. I don't even like tomato, but I love this. Okay, listen to this crunch. Mm, it's really good. Spicy water of the day. Waterloo watermelon. Honestly, that's like all I drink anymore, really. You got a Dr. Pepper? Jealous. DP, baby. We're gonna move that because Drew said he doesn't like the way his hair looks. Um, we had placed an Instacart order for soda, so I had gotten my caffeine-free Diet Coke and then he had ordered Dr. Pepper and they didn't have it. I was livid. They didn't have mine, but they had his. Drew got a chicken club with Serrano ham on it. It's good. It's mm. very salty. Mm. Very, very salty. It's probably the ham. It's almost like a prosciutto. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I had tuna lost yesterday for once, so I didn't want to Yeah. Know. That was why Drew decided to get something else. He was like, I had tuna yesterday, so I'm not trying to do that too much. You don't have mercury poisoning. You wouldn't think that tuna and pesto would go very well together, but it really does. It's delicious. Anyway, yeah. we're going to eat this and then get our Christmas tree. Can I try yours? Yeah, I'm probably gonna eat that bite because that's a lot of ham. A lot of ham. You don't really like. Look at that. Oh, shoot. I know this is wrong, but. Mmm. You can taste the pesto way more. Delish. Woohoo! Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh. Oh. The end. We're done. Christmas is over. <laughs> Something tells me this is gonna be an extremely fast selection process, but we're gonna see. They recycle trees here too. She's cute. We like her. There's so many. They're so cute. I am a fan of like small trees. Like I like this one a lot. This one's good. I like her a lot. She already has a stand on her, which is great. I like her. We have all these guys as well. She is very cute, but I don't think tall enough. We like the kind of fatter, wider ones. Like some people like the taller, skinny ones, but I like the like shorter, kind of fatter ones. 
it's all personal preference, you know? All right, after much deliberation, we found her. She's over here, cash only, so we're getting cash at the ATM. <laughs> She's coming home. Look at these little cuties. So Christmassy. Do you see her? There she is. Us and our baby. Oh God. You can see her right here. Yeah, oh yeah. There she is up there. Gotta get her home safe. Let's do it. Okay, we're home. We're bringing the tree inside. I'm moving some plants out of the way. But here is the space. I am about to commit a heinous act and let it turn on the big light. I have to, I'm sorry. Here is where she's gonna go because Drew loves a Christmas tree in the window. It's like his favorite thing ever. So that's where we're gonna put it. Let's bring her in. <laughs> exactly like last year. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Got it. Oh wait. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Yay. Drew was carrying this through the kitchen and he was like, it smells like Christmas. Yum. Now we just gotta find the perfect angle, I guess. Yeah. We gotta find her correct axis. Give her some Cutie. Fun. Why do you always say that when I turn the camera off? I thought you were recording some No, time. I was not. Drew just goes, everyone look at our tree! Look at our fucking tree! <laughs> he just opened the window and yelled. Oh god. Okay, Drew's getting some water for the tree. I'm going to, in the meantime, clear off all of the fall stuff. So we have like our leaves, our garland, all the pumpkins, the gourds, things like that. Cinnamon broom, etc. We'll get all of that off the walls and like off of our furniture and stuff first. And then we'll see where to go from there. Time for your dress, Miss Lady. Oochie, oochie. Oochie, my coochie. <laughs> Ooh, look at her. She's a beauty. Scrunch her up. I like when they're like scrunchy. Scrunch her up. All right, next we're gonna see what our situation is, our Christmas light situation. Oh, Here are our new pillows. Do we have a timer? No, I think we just. We didn't? How we bought I don't know. We'll have to check. We got some baubles. Can you might use, use yours. Yep. Yeah, possibly. Is it the new or old candle? No. Yes. It smells so good. <laughs> yes. Okay, here's the lights. We are a colored lights household, by the way. Real tree colored lights. If you're a 90s kid, you get it. Got some tinsel. Sparkly we did the old school tinsel a few years ago, and then everyone kept yelling at us, being like, your cat, like, your cat's gonna eat it. And, like, he never. Who doesn't, he didn't, who yeah, he didn't eat care. But we switched to that one just for safety reasons. And now I kind of wish we had the old tinsel back. <laughs> Slay! Trader Joe's Scarf changed Queen. the colors. They did. We wanted to get another one They're this like year. Gray. Like yeah, we'll gray. have to go back and look. But okay, cute. Oh, we have Drew's gnome collection. He has about 40 of them. So that's um, great. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, this is cute. This has like, I oh, think you put candle. a candle in it. Yeah. Cute. It's like shopping. Forget we had all this stuff. Okay, we're gonna set the mood, obviously. Do you wanna do fireplace or do you wanna like put on a movie? Whatever the gnomes want. <laughs> what are the gnomes telling you? There oh, are. there they are. What? Oh, look what we can put up. What? Oh, cute! Our ornament from the Cotswolds. So cute. Oh. Cute. Drew is on one and I keep missing it on camera, anyways. Well. That's your own fault. <laughs> there it is. This is probably like our third or fourth Christmas with this one. Ah, rip. Is it dead? Fuck God it. damn it. <laughs> okay, well. I gotta change batteries. BRB. <laughs> After changing the batteries, we discovered that these lights are in fact broken. So we will just improvise. Oh God. So many. This thing is so messy. I thought this was gonna be easy. No, I hate it. I'm having a meltdown. Gorgeous. Or right. DIY. Oh yeah, it's fine. What's wrong with that? Oh? 
Okay. This is why we had that flocked tree for one year and then never again. Because, oh my god. This is such a mess. So we're gonna try this method we saw on TikTok. Sorry about the terrible lighting in here. This is the world's darkest apartment. It's two o'clock in the afternoon right now. You would think there would be sunlight, but there's not. Anyway, um, we saw this thing on TikTok where instead of wrapping your lights around your tree horizontally, you kind of like zigzag them vertically and like it looks better, covers more of an area. We don't know if we have enough strands of lights, but we're just gonna try. So we'll see what happens. You can't even tell. Ooh, kind of like that you can. It does look pretty good. That's it. You don't have to see it later at night. Just trust us. Oh yeah, that's cute. <laughs> ah. A little good. wonky. Oh, she's fucking crooked. <laughs> I think it's cute. We're gonna go for it. We found our old tinsel. We thought we had gotten rid of it, but we still have it. So I don't know if we're supposed to do tinsel first, but I don't really care. I'm gonna take like much smaller And I know that vintage, like old school tinsel is coming back. It's very trendy right now. I will say though, we started doing this like two or three years ago. We just wanted that nostalgic vintage Christmas look. All right, here's how she's looking. It looks really good in person. On camera, I don't know if you can tell as much. So now, um, Drew had to go back to work for a little bit. Now I'm gonna do some of the ornaments. So we have some of like the ones from <laughs> our childhood and stuff. Like, I think I show this one every year. This haircut was so very 90s. These bangs that started back at like the crown of my head. <laughs> and like the half up side pony sleigh. I obviously made this, so that's cute. We have some vintage Drew throwbacks, which are adorable. We have a little penguin. What a precious baby angel. We have a spaceship. Oh, this is Marvin the Martian, of course. So freaking cute, I'm dead. What else we got in here? We have, I think this is the, what cardigan is this? Or is it just like a Christmas sweater cardigan? But we have one of the Taylor Swift cardigan ornaments. We also have the All Too Well scarf. I did purchase those, I think on Black Friday last year. We have an ornament from my very first Christmas, which is so cute, 1988 was my first Christmas. Because fun fact, I was born two days after Christmas in 1987, so I was already almost a year old. But look how cute, so fresh. We have a ton of like our personalized ornaments. So we have 2018, me and Drew, that's very cute. His mom gets us one every year. We have 2020 right here. Drew's dad used to drive like a red pickup truck, so that's very sentimental and sweet. We have 2022, so this was last year. Our sixth Christmas together last year, so I guess this will be our seventh, although it's technically our eighth because we celebrated Christmas together before we were dating in 2016, so like, I'm counting it. Here's our 2021 ornament. So cute. Oh, there it is. Precious. Another 2018. I think one of these might have been from like my mom and then one was from Drew's mom. We got my preschool 1991 ornament. I went to Children's Village Preschool. <laughs> Shout out. There's my pigtails. Kind of cute if you ask me. We have our, I mean, we got these, I can't remember the name of the shop. But we got these at this like stand at a Christmas market in Phoenix and um, it has like some celebrities on it. So we have David Bowie, we have the Obamas, and we have Prince. So we have those ones. And then they also have, oh, this one's called uh, Citizen Home Decor. We also have this Arizona one with a cactus on it. It's really cute. Gotta remember the hometown. Drew's mom got us this one. Our first Christmas in our new home, 2019. This was when we lived in our apartment in LA. That was cute. Our first apartment here. A couple thrifted ones. This little mouse with a cassette tape or like a little Walkman. How cute. We got a little skateboarding teddy bear. How cute is he? Love that. We have quite a few more, but that's kind of the, that's the, the gist of it. And then if we have room, we'll hang up some of our baubles, like in between some of the little balls. We'll see where we end up.
be probably my favorite segment of vlogmas time. Have a seat. And that's advent calendar time. So for this year, we decided, I think I showed it in a recent vlog, but we decided to do like one, well, I think we usually do this, like one separately and then one together. So the one that we're sharing and we're gonna try out every day, I guess we'll do two in every vlog, right? I don't know how many we're gonna do, but we got the Bon Maman jam slash spreads advent calendar. Cute. Look how nice that is. Okay, and then for me, I got the C's candy one. And then for him, he got the Segoy Mart 30 Days of Japan calendar. That thing was expensive, but it looks really, really cool. So which one do you wanna do first? You wanna do yours? No, let's do the jam. Okay. Number one, should we do one and two since it's like every other day? Okay, we'll do two. They're gonna be so cute. First one. White Nectarine Peach Lemon Verbena Spread. I like oh. peach, she was not. Yeah. So we just realized we, we like want, would ideally want to do this on toast. And then we're like, oh, we don't have toast. We don't, we're out of bread. So like, we'll just do it on like cheese and a cracker. And then all of our cheese was bad. So we're just gonna have it on a cracker. Oh, I do smell peach. It's a little stinky though, I won't lie. Ooh, I'm opening two. Oh, how cute that is. Oh yeah, open number two. Strawberry, Strawberry Linden Blossom Spread. Ooh, okay. Linden is a tree, I think. Nice. You get another knife, huh? Yeah. Got the white peach nectarine, white nectarine peach lemon verbena. It, it does kind of smell. It's it is a little stinky. Oh, I did a full cracker. It Whatever. smells like B.O. Cheers. Ah. It doesn't taste stinky. Mm, I like the lemon. Mm-hmm. That's good. Really good. I'll definitely eat that on toast. In the fridge you go. We were thinking maybe we would like invite a bunch of people over after we have all 20 something of these and have like a mm, cheese board like party. Do a cocktail or I something. ate my whole cracker bag. Oh. Now we're doing the other one. Strawberry Linden Blossom Spread. Cheers. Mmm. This kind of tastes like strawberry jam. I don't taste anything besides strawberry. It does seem a little sweeter, maybe. Mm, delicious. Both really, really good. Tasty. Okay, now we got our other one. The one is... What'd you get? Chocolate. It doesn't say. It looks like a some kind of marshmallow thing. Oh. Ooh. The whole thing broke. Oh, I think these are toffee. Like chocolate covered toffee. Mm. You want one? Sure. So cute. Let's try it. Yes. This is like childhood. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a peach bar. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna have to bite it. Marshmallow. Marshmallow and Marshmallow. caramel. Delicious. Big fan. One. Beeping. Oh, number one. It's an egg. It's like a kinder egg. It looks like it. It is for kids. <laughs> it does say kids. Perfect. Oh, it is. cool. Mm -hmm. this it's is like a bigger. Lot. Yeah, it's illegal. What is inside? Oh, ooh, I love A gummy lizard? What is this? An alien? This is a little monster it's guy. It's like a Godzilla. Look at him. Oh, cute. I'm, you're gonna have to forgive the beeping. Hopefully you don't hear a fellow. So Neat. Cute. Cool. Nice. Number two. Really, you can do as many oh, as you want. Two is little. You have 30 days with that one. Please be something I can eat. It is not. <laughs> it's like a, a charm. It's like a wish bag or something. I'll look it up to see what it is. I think you have to write like your. Oh, great wishes. I think. I'll have to look it up. Cute, and then you like put it in the bag? Yeah. Okay, nice. Open one more. Oh my goodness. Do you have 30 days? I do have 30 days. I'm like the kid at the birthday party when and I someone's opening it. And I'm like, oh. Cute. Who's that? Uh, Itadori from JJK. Nice. That can go on your shelf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. If I do, I'll give it to Casey. Yeah, that'd be cute. I'll do four. <laughs> Why in on a odd? Why not? This oh, there's this little chocolate. Oh, nice. There's. I some think these were in last year. Oh yeah. This one says milk. 
cute. Oh, I think this is Hinoko. I think it's like um, soybean powder. Okay. I like that one. That looks good. Nice. T I R O L. I think this might be like the dark one. I think we tried all of these last year. Almond. Ooh, we didn't have that. Oh, this one's good. This one looks American. Strawberry jelly is good. One. Ooh. Strawberry jelly chocolate. Oh, and this one too. It's like a biscuit. Ooh. Yum. All right. That's enough footage for today. That's going to do it for us. Thank you for hanging out for Vlogmas number one. We have 11 more to go and it's gonna be really fun. So if you have anything that you wanna see in future vlogs, requests, if you have any questions you want me to answer, leave it all in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe we're doing this for another year. I'm so, so excited. And we will see you very soon. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.